Hello, this is Baba recording a Popper Daily for Magic Gathering Strat and mtgostrat.com. Also find us on Facebook uh, at Magic Gathering Strat. Uh, we are just starting round one of the Popper Daily against Nicolis. And we'll check him out. Nothing found for him on mtgo-stats.com. So maybe he's not placed. Um, I decided I'd go ahead and play Burn. I haven't settled down <clears throat> and decided what I want to do exactly yet. Uh, this hand's a little weird, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, we'll start off with the creatures, I guess, and see what happens. Ah, white weenies. Shiny white weenies. He's got a... So I expect a soldier, or a, what else does it need? Knight. And there's a soldier. So his war falcon swings in for one. <clears throat> for two. Wow, two javelin ears. Phew. <clears throat> so I suspect we let the javelin ears go for the fire slinger, and then I can get the kiln fiend, which seems good. We will do our sorcery speed 3 damage. I want to make him use one of these javelin tokens, which is why I'm not blocking. Yep. So long, Fire Slinger. Blast is always good. <clears throat> um, we might as well get him as well. to a token, but that's one damage we won't take. I think this is better after board when we get the Martyr of Ashes. Um, but I'm not sure. He's keeping blockers back for Kiln Fiend. Seems fair. Smart enough to keep two guys back. Alright. 
I don't have any good blocks. Okay. <clears throat> he has no cards in his hand, so he's just trying to decide if he wants to kill my fire slinger, which I think he should do that, but he won't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he's got plenty of damage on board. Oh. <clears throat> we'll be right back. This happens with the beta client sometimes. Um, it's a bit of a pain. We're, we're in our main phase. <clears throat> Hand got resorted. It's messing with my mind. You can do a damage with that guy. <clears throat> you can kill my fire slinger anyway. He's got a lot of guys on board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight damage right there. Block him. I have to get a kiln fiend. <clears throat> and I have any chance of winning this. And I think I need the lightning bolt to stay alive. I need the lightning bolt to win. So he kills my fire slinger this turn. So he still has him to attack with. He's got four I can't block. And then six. <clears throat> I need to block a two three and a one three to not die. That's assuming he doesn't draw. Alright. Um Probably better to get the blocker. Okay. Hmm. Fine. The block here. <clears throat> if he's got his pump spell, it doesn't make a difference what I do. doesn't then I'm okay. So that'll be 14 damage. Huh. <clears throat> A rift bolt which is too late. Or if I had one more mana I could hard cast it. But that's fine. 
because um, we will lightning bolt. <coughs> we will fire blast. He could have prismatic strands. That'd be a big old bummer. <coughs> I don't think we get anything for suspending this. No. All right. <laughs> Whoa! We pulled that one out of nowhere. Uh, barely. That was a good race. So uh, burn beats white weenies. 1-0. And we go to our sideboard. <clears throat> He's going to have prismatic strands, probably. Um, we're putting in our martyr ashes. <clears throat> I expect that he has bone splitters in there, but Smash to Smithereens is a dead card if we don't see the bone splitter, so it doesn't seem too great. Um, the fire slingers worked out pretty well there um, as blockers at the end. They didn't do much damage, they might have been better. <clears throat> All right. Probably take out the flame rifts. Since this is a race to the death, absolutely keep the Searing Blaze. It's a total winner card here. <coughs> um, and I'm going to take out two of the Needle Drops. And we'll do that. So we put in four Martyrs. Uh, we took out two Needle Drops. And... Is that what we want to do? I think we take out both needle drops. I think we put in the burst lightnings uh, just because. <laughs> Fine. We'll keep the needle drops. Uh, sometimes the card draws nice, um, and that's what we'll go with. Hopefully these uh, Martyrs will help out. They won't kill the War Falcons, and they won't kill Squadron Hawks, but they'll kill everything else. Okay, and we're uh, starting game two. We drew... Nicholas chooses to keep first. Uh, play first and keeps his hand. We have a no lander. And when we'll down to a one lander, which we can just barely keep. Alright. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we slope play Martyr of Ashes here, if we just leave it out as a threat. Um, I feel like. As long as we can do three with it, we're okay. So we'll start off with a lava spike to the face. Squadron Hawks, not what I want to see. Crimson Acolyte, also a pain. White's actually kind of an annoying matchup for us. Okay. 
So not only do he have these guys, um, he could even have Circle of Protection in there. Though more likely he has prismatic strands. Daring Skyjack. Doomed Traveler. Seems like a good time to play the Martyr for two. slow down his uh, skyjack in any case. Nope. Marauders loses a suspend counter. And we really just need to reveal Needle Drop. We killed the guy that does 3 damage. Uh, but that's all we did. That was pretty lame. But he was tapped out. I didn't want him to be able to give all of his creatures protection from red. Uh, so with that Acolyte on the board, that might be the best we can do. Armor. Okay, on the plus side, his game is much less aggressive. Negative side. So is ours. <coughs> All right. We have instants. We'll hold on to them. If he taps out, I can get this Martyr again. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully he taps out getting land creatures. That would be very silly of him. Loyal Cathar. Traveler. Huh. It's interesting. We lightning bolt him with face. <clears throat> I think we just race him with damage. Needle drop him. There's a rift bolt. Eight, five, murder. Martyr can block somebody. Mm. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> now, there's really no point in using the martyr. All I have to do is give protection from red to the armorer doesn't matter if the cathard dies because he's going to come back 
doesn't matter if the Doom Traveler dies, because he's going to come back. Um, so I don't think we worry about the Martyr right now. I think we just do a Lightning Bolt to the face. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to get a Martyr. Give you something to think about. Give me something to block with. I'm going to suspend a Rift Bolt. I'm going to hold on to my Lightning Bolt. Obviously, I left those in for my Kiln Fiends. Uh, 7 damage, which isn't quite half of my life. don't have the aggression. Oh no, we do, because we have that Rift Bolt suspended. Alright, so if we draw a Burn Spell, we're pretty happy. What do you have? Another Loyal Cathar. Alright. Hm. Lightning Bolt you. Mountain. Damn. All right. <sighs> and he has lethal. Blast. Two mountains in a row. Alright. Alright. Murder of Ashes is better if he doesn't have a pro white creature there. Um, I wonder if she's worth keeping. I feel like we should take out a creature if we're going to keep the Martyr of Ashes. I feel like we have too many creatures. Because I want more aggression. Um, the Fire Slingers at least are pokers. They enable Needle Drop. Uh, Martyr of Ashes is great if he just doesn't get his Crimson Acolyte. Uh, we haven't seen any Searing Blaze yet. Those would have been nice. He did sort of calm down his aggression a little bit. What do we take out? Man, I feel like the martyrs are just slowing us down. Curse of the Pierced Hearts, I think, are too slow here. A uh, Flame Rift could create a draw. That would be pretty funny. <clears throat> I took those out originally.
Is Curse better than Fire Slinger? You can block with Fire Slinger at some point. Um, Fire Slinger can also be removed. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to put in a couple curses. No, I'm not. What am I doing? That's a horrible idea. All right. Obviously, I have no good sideboard plan. Whoa! Four mountains. Hopefully, we don't get too many. That's super flooded uh, for this deck. But we have to give it a shot. <clears throat> a turn two Marauders can be pretty good. Fire Slinger is sort of like a, in this deck anyway, a one mana Curse of the Pierced Heart. Though he's more susceptible to removal. <clears throat> or Falcon. Javelin ears. Ah. Those guys are so annoying. Standard Bears, he's got like every bit of sideboard hate he could have against me. Alright. <sighs> we are so flooded. Expected. Plus side. Spells that only target a player. Which is not that one. really want a, a Searing Blaze, which I haven't drawn all match, and is a, the best card I could have against this ridiculous, stupid, super sideboard. Now I want my Martyr of Ashes. Ah, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I should have left them in.
Wow. He's got one card left. I've got way more mountains than I need anyway. Do your doing damage first before you uh, do whatever else you got. Oh, yeah, put that on there. Ugh, horrible. Marauders are quite good here. <clears throat> Unless they get exiled. Oh, Tutor Priest. Interesting. Block that? I feel like I have to. No. Now he'll exile. And if I lose this, it's because I'm an idiot for taking out my martyrs. That's why. In case you were wondering. All right, he has vigilance. Shit. Uh, I am an idiot. Twice. Now he's gonna do the suture priest instead. All right. Now we get a Searing Blaze. It's entirely too late. Entirely too late for that Searing Blaze. Nine life. Um, the 
best card I would have would get him 2-1, assuming he doesn't do something else. Uh, but it's not like attacking now does anything either, since he just blocks with his Cathar. And he doesn't lose any aggressive possibility anyway. <clears throat> So I probably should have held on to my Searing Blaze for a turn. Yeah. I'm going for the double pump on the Fiend. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but it wasn't. Much like my sideboarding. <laughs> It's really annoying that that Cathar has Vigilance, of course. <clears throat> so here's the deal. Prismatic strands. His entire sideboard pretty much kills us. All right. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Whatever. And he can cast it again, right? Dab an untapped white creature you control. That's game over. I'll let him swing in. some silly mistakes. Uh, I don't know that it would have mattered. The biggest mistake we made was taking out the Martyr. Um, if she'd come down, she could have taken out three standard bearers at once, and we probably would have won. So That's how it goes. This has been a Popper Daily video on how not to play Burn, or maybe a cautionary tale that you should actually practice with decks before you run them in dailies. But I enjoy the competitive nature of dailies, so I don't tend to practice as much as I should. Um, which means with burn, really, at all. So, here's our chat. Nicholas recommends artifacts that deal damage like spell bombs are good against his pro white guys, but it really doesn't make sense. <clears throat> it really doesn't make sense to add a lot of white hate or even pro red hate because it's played so little in the meta. So. So we're down zero one, and 
that's fine. It's not completely unexpected. I don't do well in Pauper Dailies. Um, I've had a run of luck in drafting. I should just stick with that, perhaps. But um, I do want to get better at the Pauper Dailies, so we will see how things go. All right, stay tuned for round two of the Popper Daily coming up. Okay, this is Bava back for round two of the Popper Daily. We're playing Burn. Um, we are losing so far. Uh, I made a couple silly mistakes, which if you're in a daily, really, you can't afford to make any silly mistakes. And I made more than one. Um, So that's on me, but that's what I get because uh, I am horrible at having time to practice. And I haven't practiced with this very much at all. So this seems good. I like a Searing Blaze in the starting hand, even if we don't have the mountain to cast it yet. We will get that mountain and we will keep this hand. <clears throat> I'll put this Fire Slinger to work straight away. Evolving Wilds. Hmm. All right. Oh, I guess it's a Lava Spike to the face. While we wait for our next land. Land in a Kelden Marauders would have been great. So I don't mind saving a land for the Searing Blaze. Ah, oh, familiar storm. Interesting. Bang. Huh. Land. Good. Exactly what I wanted to see. Shoot you again. is fine. Yep. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're getting into all sorts of shenanigans here. Oh no, we're getting fissured. We get fissured with so little on the board. Ugh, this is awful. Now we get to see how Familiar Storm works. Which we all know how Familiar Storm works. It cheats. I think he's really digging for his storm. I don't know if he has it. All of that, and he didn't go off. Man, but he was trying. Whew. 
All right, what the hell do we do now? Hmm. Yep. All right, Cloud of Fairies is gone. At least one of them is. He's down to three cards. <laughs> Six life, just five, two life. Things aren't looking good for him. Temporal fissure is not going to help him very much anyway. Yep, we win. Okay. Does he have any counter spells? I don't think Storm has counters. Maybe it does. Hmm. Let's take a look. Uh, MTGO stat popper. <coughs> Snap, Research, Flicker, Analysis, Foresee, Temporal, Fissure. All right. Sample deck on mtgostats.com. Does not have any counter spells in it. So that's good. <sighs> One damage there. Remove a suspended counter. Lava spike. All right. Well. No shenanigans for you. <sighs> um, seems like an okay matchup for us. Do we want Martyr of Ashes? Do we want Curse of the Pierced Heart? What do we want here? Seems like if we kill all of his guys... Uh, that's not too bad. That's what it seems like to me. Hmm. I don't think we want Curse of the Pierced Heart. Because he goes off too quickly. Mortar of Ashes can absolutely stop him from going off. And if he's returning things to my hand, <clears throat> he's going to have to watch out. Flame Rift could be good here. He's not super aggressive. What do we not want for the Martyr? Hmm. Needle Drop seems bad. Needle Drop always seems sort of bad. Fire Slinger. Fire Slinger did great right there, though. Let's be fair about that. Kiln Fiend seems tough to get off the ground. It seems tough to get him through. <clears throat> um, I didn't get any attackers through that last time. The Marauders do damage, and the Fire Slingers do damage by themselves. And the Martyrs also affect the board. Um, I think the Flame Rift is good for racing, for 
we can kill him before he goes off. All the better. So we'll try. All right. Who? Oh. Early Marauders is okay. We're pretty flooded. I hate being this flooded, but um, it's not as bad that we can't keep it. Um, I think we have to keep it. All right. So he might have brought in Duress is good against us. Hydroblast is good against us. Uh, Lone Missionary is good against us. Vidalkin Outlander is good against us. Prismatic Strands is good against us. His sideboard is better against us than our sideboard is against him, I think. Uh, there's plenty of red hate in sideboards now, uh, with the way the burn's been going. We will suspend a rift bolt. <clears throat> of course, we get flooded. It's the rule. If you're flooded, you'll draw more land. He's just getting some land on board. Hmm. Um, I think getting the Marauders on board here is the way to go, just in case we get a swing into him. That's worthwhile. And the Marauders can easily enable the Needle Drop, so I'm not too worried about getting stuck with that in my hand. And not being able to play it. really awful for us. Uh, pardon the printer noises. Decided, I'm on a sideboard against red. That works against any aggro deck gaining life. Um, Fine. 
we are just so in trouble. Um, it's not even funny. Of course, it's not like red has any enchantment hate. <sighs> He's got two land. Stupid fairies. Good lord. Well, he's not going off, but he's got his defenses up. He doesn't need to go off. Because there's not much I can do. A gold rifter. I totally messed up. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I am fighting through. I don't have much hope. He's even got me on the clock. I need to change that. I messed up twice. Man, how horrible am I playing? All right. Huh. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's do this the right way.
I got the land tapped. There's no particular reason to make him tap anything else. Might as well, because he's not doing anything. <laughs> okay. Why not? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Fair enough. I will run down his clock, uh, which means I need to start blocking the nice kid. I can't run down his clock. Oh, neither of those can even target a Mulder Star. Much less the second Mulder Star. At this point, I am just trying to run down his clock. It's probably not going to matter. My clock's actually under his, but I can play faster. I can win faster than he can. You wouldn't know right now. Boom, 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 boom.
this. particularly matter, does it? <clears throat> oh, I do think we need power to just win with Kiln Fiend. He didn't fissure me once that game. <clears throat> More aggressive. More aggressive. Playing first. Boom, boom, boom. Bump, 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 bump. All right, I think Flame Rift is still a good idea. Ugh. All right, this is as aggressive as we get, I guess. We just try and win. Uh, there's nothing I can do if he gets a circle of protection out. <coughs> um. I guess I can try and keep all of his mana tapped all the time. <clears throat> Instead of needle drops. Mm. All right, we'll try this. <clears throat> Good hand for us. He mulls to six. I wonder if you just don't mull until you get a circle of protection, though. Kiln Fiend to the rescue! Go Kiln Fiend! Go Kiln Fiend! <sighs> He's got no action. Okay. He certainly snapped my Kiln Fiend, but I should be shooting him anyway. Does he have a snap in his hand? If he does, he should cast it. Yes, he does. Okie doke. If he didn't, we would have won, and it would have been great. Uh, two turn kill. But of course, that didn't happen. Cloud of Fairies. No. Well, still Cloud of Fairies. And tapping the aqueduct.
It's so annoying. Alright. Kiln Fiend it is. We are saving that mountain for the Searing Blades next turn. It's not lucky he had the snap. He has four of them, I'm sure. It's just unfortunate. Because uh, I would have enjoyed winning this one in the second turn. Third turn. He had two land, I started. Third turn. But it still would have been great. <sighs> the only good news, really, is that he doesn't have a circle of protection white. Um, everything else is pretty much bad news. He has the mana left over to regenerate that guy, though. Ugh, I hate him. Some guys on the board. No! Christ Almighty. Alright. I don't know what we do about that.
Wow. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's an asshole. Pardon me, he's not really an asshole. I'm sure he's a very nice person. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. He's gonna kill me with these goddamn clouds of fairies. Screw them.
Uh, I'm not talking much because this is probably the least exciting thing ever uh, to watch. Hi, I heard him.
capsized. And he bought it back. All right, well, there's no point in that, then, is there? But hey, Flame Rift. Get him under the clock. Might not mean a whole lot though. He's got plenty of capsized mana and a mole drifter. Hmm. And besides, Rift Bolt is the least sneaky spell there is. <laughs> oh, what a silly mashup. We got one. No fissure lock, but he has a capsize lock.
All right, so we lose to Fisher. Ugh. Uh, he got, of course, his circle of protection red really slowed me down. Um, sideboard hate is tough against burn. This is what I'm finding out. People can just get stuff that you can't do anything about. And um, we almost won that match anyways uh, with our turn three Kiln Fiend. But he had the snap for the Kiln Fiend. Um, otherwise, we could have hit him for seven, done the other four, and even have to cast it before because um, that would have really, <coughs> really sucked if he'd snapped me. Um, but didn't work out that way, so we're 0-2. Moving ahead. Okay, here we go in round three of our Popper Daily. Uh, we are 0-2 running Burn, um, which I'm... Maybe I'm piloting it horribly. Maybe I'm just having a lot of sideboard hate. Um, so far I've gone against Mono White, and they had Standard Bearers, and uh, Crimson Acolytes, uh, which just wrecked me, and I sideboarded poorly. Um, I took out uh, Martyr of the Ashes in Game 3, because he sucked so much in Game 2 against the Crimson Acolytes. But I didn't see any Crimson Acolytes in Game 3, I just saw the Standard Bearers. So, that was silly. Um, and then I went against Familiar Storm, <clears throat> and he got a Circle of Protection White, or a Circle of Protection Red, and uh, that was pretty much the end of that game. Um, though I almost did win the match with a turn 3 kill in game 3, but he snapped my Kiln Fiend, and it was pretty much all downhill from there. So, them's the breaks. Uh, match 3 against Skilled Skipping. And we'll check out MTGO-Stats and see if he's on here. But Mono black control. Uh, mono black control seems good for us. Um, maybe. He doesn't have a lot of discard, he's got a lot of creature killing. All he's got are Chittering Rats, and a little bit of draw. So, good for us. We'll keep this hand. <clears throat> we'll suspend a Rift Bolt into his face. We'll suspend a Rift Bolt into the Exiled Zone, and next turn we'll cast it into his face. Witches are great. I don't care about them at all. We will save the Searing Blaze for something that matters a little bit more. Or maybe for a blocker against our Kelvin Marauders. I think for sideboard we take out as many creatures as possible. He's going to put it in his dresses in the sideboard. Okay. Twelve, twelve, nine, six, three, dead. Seems good. Mm -hmm. 
So that'll be a kill next turn. He's helping me out. He's returning the witches. That doesn't matter at all. Fire Slingers, absolutely gone. Kiln Fiends, they're gone too. Marauders do 2 damage even if they die. So they're okay. And one Kiln Fiend. I don't think he has any, according to his old list, His list on March 4th, he had a dark steel pendant, which is the only artifact he had in his sideboard, but even that's indestructible. Okay, so we have as much straight up burn as possible. Um, he's going to put in his duress, but that still only gives him four duress and four chittering rats to mess with our hand. Oh. And three auger of skulls. So he's got some stuff to mess with our hand, but we have stuff to mess with his life. <laughs> I don't think he has anything to mess with the Curse of the Pierced Heart, so we will uh, keep this, though. First turn duress. What are we to get rid of in a first turn duress? We'll find out. There's his pendant. Being able to actually hit with Kelden Marauders would be such a treat. Um, it's not going to happen. duress at this point, because I can always fire blast off. Putting him at four next turn. Okay. Three. 
Three is better than four. Um. And we win. Hooray for us. Lava spike. Fireball. Chica. All right, and burn hoses mono black control. Um, we didn't get to use our curse of the pierced heart. That makes me a little sad, but we want a match. That makes me happy, and we want it in ten minutes. So that's cool. Okay, well stay tuned for round four, and uh, we are one and two now. So we're not going to win or anything, but we might as well play this out. Okay, and we are back for the final round in this popper daily. We have two land and plenty of creatures. We're gonna go ahead and keep this and see how it goes. We're up against Rico. Rico's playing goblins. Have a goblin. Let's go. Gobble, 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 goblins. My Martyr of Ashes seems good against goblins. <clears throat> in my sideboard. His Searing Blaze seems good against my Goblin. Maybe he's playing Burn with an Arsonist. Seems good to me. What do we do first? Kill Fiend. I don't know. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Lightning bolt to the kiln fiend. Hmm. More goblins. Alright, so he's playing goblins. Playing as some sort of uh, goblin tokens. <laughs> and he's not attacking, which is always good for me. I will attack, of course. Wow. Alright. Huh. 
Strange move. We win that one. Uh, out of nowhere, I have no idea why I didn't block my Marauders. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so we take out Flame Rifts. Definitely leave in Searing Blaze. Marauders were fantastic. Killed fiends get their stuff killed, man. Hmm. <clears throat> but we want to put in Murder of Ashes. Absolutely. <clears throat> and I think we take out two... Do we take out two Fire Slingers, or do we take out two Kiln Fiends? I think we take out the Fire Slingers. The Kiln Fiends can just win. Um, they're pretty valuable. <coughs> or do we take out two Needle Drops? Mm. Lots of creatures. But goblins focus more on having their own creatures rather than having creature heat. So there's plenty of burn in there. Obviously. And, and we can't keep no lands. Mulligan to one land. Alright, we'll keep this one. Seems good to me. for another mountain. Bushwhacker. Now that hurts. That hurts a lot. It doesn't mean we can't kill all his creatures next turn if we draw a land. That'll suck for him. Being an eight life sucks for us. We do not draw another land. Kill the Slitter. Sure. Five. Man, I think we have to kill the cohort.
So our lack of land pretty much sucks. Ah. He meant to cast a creature, maybe, so he could attack with his cohort. I forgot. This is why you, like me, Rico, are at the bottom of the heap right now. He chose to keep his bushwhacker instead of his slitter. It seems like the wrong move. Okay, and we have no land, and we have no blocks, and we still have no land. Losing two mana problems. Uh, I'm fine with the changes we made to the deck. We had a great hand. We really only needed one more land to do things with it. Yes, I want to play first. I have two land. Flame Slash is a weird card for goblins. I don't think it should be in there. He sure is slowing down his game, killing all those creatures, though. <gasps> oh, 
gear. All right, so persist. <clears throat> I don't know if I got most of his steam or not. goes my hand. Elden Marauder, Rift Bolt, Needle Drop. This is uh, revenge for the one mountain I got in game two. I will get six in game three. And Obviously. <sighs> you were a turn earlier, chain lightning. 
That would have been nice. I have to cast it now. He doesn't have the mana open. Skin of your teeth. We win the match. Just barely. Wow. Uh, one life. Last minute fire blast. Uh, pretty lucky. So we end up 2 2 with burn. Not at all fantastic. But hey. Could have been worse. Thanks for watching. This was Baba playing the Popper Daily. Playing burn in the Popper Daily. And we went 2 2. Um, in the end, we lost the first two, won the second two. Um, I'm sure I didn't play Burn exactly like I should have. I think I made some bad sideboarding decisions, particularly in the first match. But, uh, say la vie, we're definitely seeing some more uh, sideboard hate against Red, which had an impact mainly in our first two matches uh, when we saw Standard Bearers and Crimson Accolades, and then Circles of Protection Red, which just destroyed us in match two. Uh, but we did okay otherwise. I think Burn's a thing. Um, I think it definitely has some bad matchups, particularly those uh, where they have those sideboard options. So, what are we going to do? Everybody has bad matchups. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Check us out on Magic Gathering Strat on YouTube and mtgostrat.com, as well as on Facebook at Magic Gathering Strat. Uh, take care. I'll see you next time.